after takeoff, the planned fly past at Hadsheim. As the Airbus began its first low-level pass, these exclusive pictures captured the moment the watching crowds realized something was terribly wrong. They could clearly hear the Airbus engine screaming as her captain tried to gain height. Five seconds after impact, the first of a series of explosions. Rescue workers found Day's survivors wandering the forest. Only escape chutes had saved them. Fire teams arriving on the scene found their way blocked by thick undergrowth. For a time, a solitary helicopter guided them to the burning aircraft. But by now, the Airbus was an inferno. As firemen began to pour foam on the wreckage, first news of the crash was reaching family and friends still waiting at Baal Airport. Many simply couldn't believe what they were hearing. Those who survived described the struggle to escape before the flames spread. It's the first and probably the last time I take a plane. I didn't realize what was happening. My wife told me to get off and took me by the hand and we jumped. There was lots of pushing, but we let the children get off first. Nobody told us anything except don't panic, get out, get out. So we ran into the forest because they said the plane would explode. First light this morning revealed just how lucky the survivors had been. The tail plane and one wing were all that was recognizable of an aircraft only accepted into service last week. From the air, clearly visible, the swathe of destruction cut by the aircraft as it hit the trees. As firemen and crash investigators combed the wreckage, police confirmed that three passengers had died, 50 were injured. In all, 133 passengers and crew had managed to escape. The crash investigators who worked through the night had a major breakthrough just before dawn. They found both of the black box flight recorders, which should contain every detail of the Airbus's final moments. They'll also be considering reports that the captain tried to boost the power of the engines, but that the engines didn't respond. Whatever the outcome of this investigation, there's little doubt that without prompt action by captain and crew, the death toll here would have been far higher. Robert Hall, ITN, Habsheim in eastern France. We showed the film of the plane's last seconds to Harry Hopkins, a test pilot who's flown the revolutionary new aircraft. Well, there were small uh, groups of trees at both ends, which means that the aircraft wasn't manoeuvring until quite late in. It had some bank angle on, got close to the ground, was levelling out with the engine still, seemed to be fairly spooled back, and then flying parallel to the ground with very little change of engine note for a few seconds. And it was only just those second or two before it hit the trees that we actually heard those engines accelerating again.